what is the directivity of the human head and voice? Here I have a motorized platform that I can use to spin myself. First, I'm gonna do some on-axis measurements of my voice. Now I have to do a sound power response. Here you can see the general on-axis response, the sound power measurement. This is the corresponding directivity. Pretty flat, meaning it's semi-omnidirectional. I can also kind of take a look and see what the dispersion characteristics are. But what happens when I talk through this? On-axis response with the tube and without. See, they look pretty similar. This is a sound power with the tube, without it. And looking at the corresponding directivity of it, you can see that it's wide here and then it really starts to narrow up. Compare that to the one without the tube and you can see that the one without it doesn't have this enhanced bass. The dispersion characteristics, you can see that it's wide around 400 hertz and it begins to narrow up. The one without the tube, that's a little bit wider in the higher frequencies, which makes sense because I'm talking through a tube. I was curious, so I figured I'd 